Good morning, and thank you for waking up with Edie Darling. You know, this morning I woke up with such a praise in my heart for God. Because when I think about how good he has been, there's nothing that any man, woman, or child could have done in my life to even compare to where God has brought me from. Even as I sit here this morning, it is so difficult for me to sit still. Now, you have to know, if you don't know, I believe in praising God. I'm like David. Here's David who danced right out of his clothes. That's the kind of praise that I believe that God is worthy of receiving. Because if any one of you were to truly look back over your lives, you would see that God has blessed you. He has provided for you. He has been a shelter for you. He has been a comforter to you. He's been so many things for you. So why isn't he worthy of that praise? And many times what I find is that people try to take ownership for the things that God is doing in their lives. But that driving force that is behind you, it is truly the power of God. So when I got up this morning and I began to think back over my past few months, my past few years, to know where God has brought me from. He's brought me through some very traumatic experiences. Now he must have thought I was strong enough to get through it. Because I think if it was anybody else in this circumstance, and we have to be careful when we say, oh, I wish I had the life of this person. Oh, I wish I had the life of that person. You don't know the hell that that person has gotten, gone through in order to be where they are today. You don't know the price that they've had to pay to be where they are today. Because to have lost a husband through divorce, to have your home life as you know it turned upside down. To have yourself have to rely on God for everything when it comes to your finances because you couldn't go to work. You couldn't be able to provide for your own self. If it had not been for God's grace and mercy over my life to say where I really had to put his word to test in my life where I said, now listen, God, I know you are a provider. I need you to pay my bills. <laughs> I'm lonely, Lord, so I need you to wrap your arms around me. I'm sick, Lord, so I need you to heal me. That's the kind of God that we serve. That no matter what you are going through, you can call on him. And you can tell him what you need. And he is a provider. Now I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy. Because it wasn't easy for me. It wasn't easy. And I'm sure it wasn't easy for my family and my friends to see me have to go through those things. But even though you're going through them. You don't have to look like you're going through it. You can still smile. You can still be happy. You can still walk through life with great joy in your heart. Knowing that, look, I serve a mighty God who is able to do exceedingly above anything I can ever ask in or think. And I'm going to put that God. I'm going to have him show me, truly show me 
that his word is real. And he did exactly what I expected him to do because I don't expect anything less of God. We serve a mighty God. So I say to you this morning, get in a place of praise. That even if it doesn't look like God is doing anything right now in your life, praise him for the small things. And as you begin to praise him in the small things, watch how he will begin to bless you in the larger things. Peace and blessings I send you, my friends. Peace and blessings.